good morning i've missed you guys um oh my keys to ignition don't want to run my battery down i have missed you guys you won't know any different because it will still be a video going out for you at the same time but i haven't weekly vlogged this week and it's been the first time in well since i started and what are we up to like 15 weekly vlogs so 15 weeks it's the first time that i haven't vlogged in the week and i did miss talking to you i'll admit but there is a reason um because i'm competing today it's an event vlog and next weekend i thought i would give myself a little bit of a break from weekly vlogs because work's really busy so i thought i'd give myself a break and just do some good old-fashioned competition vlogs um so yes today is drum roll do, 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 do. that's not even a drum roll a um an event vlog Woohoo! well it's not an event event so it's not british eventing and it's not even a full ode it's a training day at little downham so um i'm not doing the dressage i'm just doing the show jumping and the cross country both at 90 um but it's in a training format so um you got the start box everything like a real competition but you can't get eliminated unless you fall off twice i think i'm not sure um and you can pick your own so if you have issues say a, a 90 or 100 fence you could then represent to the 80 and do the 80 instead so it's absolutely amazing for confidence building we did the one in july i think it was for our first proper 90 um and it was so good so good i love little down and it's one of my favorite venues so yes we are off there today um we're taking both boys um brock's coming and ella obviously are coming as well um and victoria should be here soon but i've just got to the yard i need to pack the trailer because we had flat work lessons last night and they were really late i didn't drop victoria had lesson on socks and i had to drive her home in the trailer so i didn't drop her home till half eight so I've got stuff everywhere, so we need to get organised and then get Goatee in and give him a little spruce up, but thankfully no plaiting. Um, so yes, Ella's already here, I can see her cleaning Brock. Um, the nutter is wearing a t-shirt and I'm in hoodie and gilet because it's like 10 degrees, winter's here already. Um, but yes, anyway, I will stop waffling because I always waffle, don't I? And it's early and I need to get ready and I'm procrastinating and I'll be honest... I do feel a little bit nervous. I know it's not a competition, but there's a lot of things in the course that we've been working on. There's a trochaner. We haven't been working on a trochaner, but we'll talk about that later. But there is a ditch and there is a step down, which I'm determined to go down, over, down. Um, but yeah, I have got, I call it a sloshy tummy. Sorry if that's too much information, but it feels like everything's moving around. Particularly when I get on in the warm-up, it feels horrendous. I had it at Board Hill, um, and I was telling the... Um, the show jumping student all about it but anyway i am waffling because i'm nervous and i don't want to get out of the car <laughs> look it's, it's it's 11 degrees and this absolute nutter is full-on bathing the pony in a t-shirt did you not get the memo that it's winter are you not cold no. goodness me oh brockies what's she doing to you early morning bath um, I was driving here and I was thinking you're going to be so mad at me because it rained last night, didn't it? Yeah. And I told you it wasn't going to rain. <laughs> not much. Oopsie. Look at this, guys. Look at him. Oh, He's shaking. <laughs> oh, Brock, you so mean. Aren't she? Um, but mine's... Oh, there. <laughs> Oh, he's got puppy eyes. Poor broccoli. Not even eight o'clock. Well, actually, he's just gone eight. Ice cold bath. Apparently, it's good for your muscles, Brock. That's what all the pro athletes do, don't they? They have a nice bath. Athlete, look at that <laughs> Oh. Good morning, goatee. This is what's left of the round belt, by the way. The one that I put in two weeks ago. It lasts two weeks. Good morning. You ready to go eventing? He was an absolute legend in our lesson last night. We did our first ever flying changes. We got two. I mean, it was over a pole, but still. Two clean flying changes, and we just started teaching him half pass, and he had a really good go at it last night. Right, come on, let's get you in. I need to wash your socks, and then we'll be ready. Want to come in? We're going eventing. It'll be fun, I promise. 
have one very unenthusiastic um, partner in crime today. Come on, watch out for the gate. Watch out, watch out for the gate, num numpty. Come on. <laughs> There's no point hiding in my shoulder. Good boy, it'll be fun. You're gonna go over the ditch today? What about down the step? What about the scary dragana? We'll see. <laughs> joined Ella in the t- well actually I've got a t-shirt on now and she's put a jacket on but there's just never enough time I always think like I want to film loads of time lapses for you guys and film the packing of the trailer and that and then it never happens but we have been having issues with the boys squabbling over hay so we have bought she comes a stallion partition but we're not sure if it's going to fit with the tack pack so let's see moment of truth here's the time lapse you've all been waiting for Look. Yes! No more fighting over hay. Well, it's actually just go eating Brock's hay, really, isn't it? Oh, they clip on yeah. there, do they? I love it when a plan comes together, you know? Yes, I'll do my yes. side. Oh, I just get the heart bit, don't I? There go. <laughs> no more fighting over hay now. They're gonna be so, goats. Gonna be so cross with you. <laughs> there we go. Try and eat box hay now, Mr. Goat. A little cage. First stop of the day is fuel and coffee. Ella's now getting in the car with more she comes. More coffee. I've got loads of sprouts everywhere and we've got bacon bat for you. And I've got a sausage bat. What did you get? Bacon. I'm not touching your bum, I'm just getting the key. Can I put that in the door? Yes. Your keys are in the front. Hang on, let me move my keys out there and get coffee in. All the keys are in the front. Right, it's time to go. Ella is trying to give me a heart attack. She forgot her gloves. So we've been redirected to a tap shop called Equicentric and I've just had to reverse to turn round and I don't like going backwards, being completely honest. Uh, Brock, and Brock's now kicking the trailer. Such a naughty pony. We're actually only six minutes away from Little Downham so once we get there we'll be We'll be okay, hopefully. There's Toya in the background. Yeah. <laughs> what, what did we just have to do, Ella? Turn my gloves. <laughs> I think they better fit. I'm not bloody I coming I back. Hand hand okay, right, let's go then. We're only six minutes away. We've made it. We had a bit of drama, didn't we? Yeah. We had to get the naughty pony off and then put Goat back on. And then Goat got upset because, because Brock was not in the trailer with him. So poor Victoria is now standing hand grazing Brock while we walk the course. I think you might have a lot of beans today. A lot of beans. Uphill to uphill. <laughs> my, my pro course up here is telling me that despite the fact that we're about to 
jump into what looks like the hollow of doom with a scary ditch in the bottom that it's nicer. Yeah, it's going to be trot from here. No, that's a hundred. Yes. Because look, there's not an A after R to tell you the light color. Where she's now coming to, look. Right, it's game on for that. Game on! What do you think? Don't go shy. You were full of, I don't know. Full of chatter a minute ago. It's very, it's not very, I don't think it's very big, but I feel like I haven't got much brain engagement today. Yeah, Brock is a little bit feisty today. Um, so Ella might have a lack of control. And I feel like I need control. Maybe that's what yeah, and I am just going um, to um, pray. Sit up, kick and pray. Sit up, kick and pray is my motto for this course. So the reason why I put an Instagram post up on this like saying how it's so much nicer to go with company because this one deals with me when I have meltdowns. Like I'm having right now, I was just messaging Hannah saying, giving up, just doing dressage from now on. Okay. <laughs> it's not appropriate to say on the vlog. <laughs> um, I feel sick. I just, once I'm through I'll, I'll be buzzing but this part I don't enjoy it do you not get nervous at all or I you just feel nervous because there's no pressure you don't know what pressure you're putting on yourself I, but I don't ever feel the pressure of like at a competition I don't have the pressure of doing of winning like I, that's not what the pressure is from the pressure is from going over the course and getting round yeah but if you stop then you just do it again and if you fall off just get back on so, that's my she logistics. talks too much sense. <laughs> right, we're just going to rescue Victoria now. I'll um, not get run over. And get tacked up. And I'll probably talk to you now on the other side.
little and little basically it's not little and large because you're both tiny chief vlogger and groom is also here yeah. getting all the action thank you toria mm -hmm. carrying our stuff around and we're back. Oh, I to undo this. I feel like I'm dying. What a mixed bag. Um, so we, he started off really positively. We, it was actually flying. Like he felt amazing over the first half of the course. Amazing through that combination with the brush, the shoulder skinny brush that scared with the, scared? Shared with the hundred. He felt amazing then. Um, and then we came to the ditch and Carla, Carla Parsons, Muddy Mayhem. Shout out to you for being the best XC steward if you're watching. But she says that I didn't ride it. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Um, it was a big ditch and it's usually in the 100. So he stopped the first time. Then I tried my technique, trotted him to it. And he just backed off like three or four strides out. So you only get two attempts at every fence. So we then pushed on. And then he was being ginger. And he decided that he didn't want to jump anything. So then he stopped at the next fence, which there was absolutely no excuse for stopping at. Um, so that was annoying, but I didn't, I think I can't remember if I tried twice. I think I did. And again, he was having none of it. Did I get him over it the second time? Maybe I did. I think actually, I think I got him over it the second time. And then um, up over the hill and down to the skinny, he felt amazing. Um, he did the step down, which I'm so pleased of him for, because it was the roll top, obviously, then a stride. And he jumped, he was backing off at the roll top, but he went. Then he had a good look, and I just slipped my reins and I said, go, and he leaped off it, and I was so proud of him. Uh, and then he jumped, we, it was a bit messy out of the one, out of that, but he was fine. And then Tracana, we had a stop out the first time. Again, probably me being a wimp. Second time, trotted in, gave him a rein, gave him a boot, and he jumped it. Our first ever Tracana. So I'm so buzzing about that. And then, then I was so happy that I lost all my reins had no beans as Ella would say so then we had to run out at the next one then he ran, then I tried to bring him around to the 18 it all got a bit messy in all honesty um, and then we got our act back together um, jumped the roll top out of the water and yeah clear the rest of the way so you're a very good boy overall so still a few teething points at this level but it's only his second ever 90 so we'll get there we'll get there I'm just so chuffed he went over the trachina I'm back oh I've got a very red mark on my head Goatee's here, chilling. Brock is here, chilling, and um, Ella's just giving him a brush because I want our, uh, I want a photo for the gram, basically. And Ella and I are wearing matching outfits, so I think it will look super cute. So, yes, we are tarting the horses up for a half decent photograph. This is dedication to the vlog. I wanted to get a shot of them walking together. Here we go. See the dream team. Victoria's not very impressed about being made to walk, but. Yeah, Tori's walked Goaty off, Hella's walking Brock off, and I've tidied up. This is like your modelling moment, look. <laughs> Catwalk. Here we go, work it, work it. <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. Good boys. <laughs> you look like the telly tubby again. Oh no. <laughs> <The sun. laughs> yeah. Tori's got Brock. Goat is here. We're taking a team trip to the food van, basically. Snacks for everyone. Brock's in the queue for the male's magical crep. Goat's more interested in the grass. Goat wants to know if they do a grass crep. <laughs> what are you going to order, Goatee? Got my crep. Got my pony. Living my best life. Crepe. I've already destroyed mine. I ate it while the lady was making Ella's. He's here. The whole squad is here. Here we are. A successful day out, I would say. Time to go home now. The bit of eventing that no one ever vlogs. Tidying up when you get home because that animal is disgusting in his trailer. We're doing our non-committal roll again. A couple of scrapes. Maybe I'll roll. Maybe I won't. Not that your field's not dusty enough already. 
Well, we changed our mind again. We've changed our mind. No, I'm not a scratching post. I'm not a scratching post. Finally having a roll after trying out four or five spots in the whole field. Got to get the dustiest bit. You gonna get over again? Go on. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a happier horse. The dust coming off. We are back and we have blitzed the yard, haven't we? Yeah. Absolutely smashed it. We're going home early. Well, not early. What's the time? I'm kind of seeing my watch. Quarter of five. We'll be off the yard just after five for the first time in like forever. Um, oh, yeah. Do you want to tell them how you did it there? Go on. We went double clear. If you heard that, double clear. Smashed it. Um, yeah, at least someone's consistent, unlike my horse. Um, but yeah, we had a really, really good day and a huge shout out to Little Downham um, for hosting the training events because it's a new thing for 2020 and it's been really good for GOAT because if that was an unaffiliated ODE or BE, we would have been eliminated at the ditch and we wouldn't have been able to carry on. So it's really nice that they um, run these training events. But um, I'm probably going to end this vlog here because... There's nothing else to do except feed goat but it will be a, another event vlog next weekend because we are going to where are we going anna to chill um for their ode and it's a new venue for both of us it's a bit of a trek two and a bit hours i think um but yeah we're going there for their unaffiliated ode we're both entered in the 90 so we will see what happens next weekend but yeah as always i really hope you have enjoyed this vlog i think victoria got some jumping footage it's just a little bit difficult when you go cross country to get footage obviously you've only got victoria bless her so she can only stand in one place at one time she can't run around the courts with us i mean that would be good if she could but she can't um but yeah next weekend will be a full event vlog and um yeah if you've enjoyed this video i can't remember if i've said this if you've enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up if you're new here please subscribe um and leave me a comment down below um and yeah i will see you all in next week's um event vlog bye